Blink Twice is a film that aims to critique the excesses of the wealthy elite and the insincerity of public apologies, but ironically indulges in its own ambition. Director Zoe Kravitz, here marking her debut feature, demonstrates a confident handling of sensitive material, marking her as a promising filmmaker. But the script, co-written by her and E.T. Feigenbaum, attempts to tackle too many themes at once, leading to a narrative that feels overstuffed and unfocused. The story centres on Tina, played by Naomi Aki, a struggling cocktail waitress who, along with her friend Jess, who's alias Shawcat, infiltrates an exclusive event hosted by Channing Tatum's Slater King, a disgraced tech billionaire who ends up inviting both Tina and Jess to his private island for a hedonistic holiday with his friends, among them Christian Slater, Haley Joel Osment, and even Hitman's Adria Arjona. But a series of strange occurrences soon lead Tina and the other women to question the true nature of King and his associates. Like other satires that critique the wealthy, like last year's Saltburn, as well as Oscar favourites like Triangle of Sadness and Parasite, Blink Twice delivers a clear message about the absurdity and moral bankruptcy of the rich, yet it is just one of multiple messages being juggled at once, including ones about the nature of cancel culture, fervent misogyny, abuse of power, and plenty others, which results in an overwhelming and muddled narrative, filled with characters that, because of the script's focus on its messages over its actual storytelling, are largely reduced to one-dimensional traits that make it hard to care about their fates. Despite the script's shortcomings, Kravitz's filmmaking style is striking, as she injects the film with a sharp edge through intense editing, vivid cinematography which heightens the tension with extreme close-ups, sound design that amplifies the uneasy environment, and strong performances from the cast, particularly Adria Arjona, whose character I honestly wish was the lead over Naomi Aki's less interesting protagonist. While Kravitz's direction provokes whenever necessary and occasionally displays a grim sense of humour, though the film takes time to find its rhythm, sometimes dragging in its portrayal of opulence. While Blink Twice isn't flawless, as as its thematic ambition often reaches further than it can physically stretch, leading to a narrative that feels overwhelming and underdeveloped, Kravitz makes a notable and confident three-star directorial debut that is visually and audibly compelling enough to leave you curious about where she goes next as a filmmaker, though in my opinion a more focused narrative for her follow-up film would likely yield even better results. Visit the Film Feeder website to read my more detailed review, but for now, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more reviews, and I'll see you next time.